Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Curse of the Azure Bonds. Once again, I'm Old Dragon, and um, after the last episode I took care of the uh, uh, stupid monkeys and dogs, and uh, uh, rested up and healed. You can rest in this area, it's just not guaranteed that you're safe. So, uh, you know, you can risk it. Um, and usually, you know, you can rest for a little while, depends on how injured you are and stuff like that. Uh, huh. I thought there was something in here. Oops. You hear howling from ahead. The fire knives are at least their dogs. I don't remember a doorway being there. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Oh, come on, hit more. Oh, I miss my fine longbows. And I miss having levels for my warriors. Oh, come on, do I have damage? That's just ridiculous. Flees in panic. <laughs> He's fleeing in panic into a tiny room. There we go. <sighs> Jeez. You are entering the foul-smelling, slime-covered sewers of Tilverton. Because of the slippery footing and low ceiling, it is apparent that fighting will be awkward. Yeah. And I can't area view. But, again, yeah. You still hear the occasional sounds of battle echoing from the guild hall. A piece of paper pokes above the muck here. You recorded in journal entry 41. The paper is heavily soiled, but you can make out knives untrustworthy, cultists unreliable, wizard insane, and tea seems very dangerous. Expect little reliability from the new alliance, especially over the bonded subject. We'll need to set up our own observation team. Per and it ends there. Hmm. So we know that the Fire Knives are one group, and, and Moander is another group. So, uh, there's two of them, and T seems very dangerous. I wonder who, who T could be. And Wizard Insane, we could be talking about that uh, Wizard of Shadowdale that was mentioned. Um, so it makes you wonder who's uh, writing this, uh, um, piece of paper. Hmm. It could be the Zentarum, I guess. They're the only group left that wasn't mentioned. Let's bash the door. Woohoo! You spot something flapping in the ceiling. To tell what it is, someone will need to climb up. Does anyone want to? Only a thief could succeed. Sure. 
The thief retrieves a swatch of cloth from a sealed trap door. The door was too well jammed to open. The scent of a tavern wafts down through the door. You recognize the cloth as being the same as the dress worn by the woman who disappeared from the bar. Hmm. Well, that's interesting, isn't it? <clears throat> a tattered green robe lies trampled in the muck. assaults your senses as you enter this room. From out of a particularly nasty pile comes a pack of oat yug. Hey, I have 40 hit points. Maybe I should have waited to <laughs> change class until after I uh, got out of this place. They attack and they hit often. I don't think any of them have missed yet. started to miss. Oh, he surrendered. I suppose I could have tried back second. Ugh. I'm getting too much experience. With the monsters defeated, this seems like a safe place to rest. Yes, I really want to rest in uh, a place filled with muck and disgusting crap. Literally. Let's see. Do you have I cast any spells? I do not believe I have. So, just fix. Fix. Save it. Okay, and we are good to go. You see a scrap of purple cloth clinging to the bottom of the south door hinge. I go go in this door. You hear the shuffling of large feet, but can't locate the direction because of the echoes. Large feet. Stuffed in a crevice here are the slain bodies of two red-robed assassins. It would take something powerful to have lodged them so tightly. Hmm. I wonder what that could be. Ah, more oat yugs. Piles of excrement have been shaped into pyramids here. Many oat yugs are smoothing the sides and making artistic embellishments. A glint of metal comes from one pile. What do you do? Hmm, I can attack, I can bargain, or I can flee. Um, I could try killing them, but um, since it gives the option of bargaining, maybe I can just bargain. Let's go ahead and bargain. A telepathic buzz fills your mind. If you wish the shiny thing, then we must have treasure in return. To the south are others of our ilk, who have two fine-smelling piles of food. Bring us those. Yeah. I guess we'll agree.
The remains of a body here. An arm is marked with defective versions of the sigils on your arms. Hmm. The room is filled with filth. The room, though most of the smell comes from two piles near the center. The Oyug attack immediately. Ooh, what's that? A Neo Oyug. Great. surrendered. One thousand experience points. It is obvious which piles the other Oyug wanted. Though unpleasant, you believe you could carry them back to the other Oyug. Oyugs. Do you want to? Sure. With the monsters defeated, this looks like a safe place to rest. Ooh, let's fix, fix, and save. Rats the size of large dogs rush away at your approach. Oh, I'm surprised. Usually they would have attacked. The Oyug bounce about in apparent joy of your gifts. They pluck the object from the fetid pyramid and toss it to you, then relieve you of your unpleasant baggage of trash. You may pass through freely. The object is a glittering piece of jewelry, ornately sculpted in the symbol of the Zentrum. That's supposed to be Zentarum. The object looks to have been worn until recently. You are given a few other trinkets as well. 941 experience points. Jeez. Give me a training hall! Alrighty. I shouldn't even go back this way. Pieces of trolls lice strewn about here. What do you do? Move on, watch the pieces, or burn them. BURN THEM! You quickly sear the pieces into inactivity. Oh, crap. Well, it's good to know that they're using the same picture as uh, Pool of Radiance. As you open the door, hands reach down from above. Then comes a deep bass voice. Wait, you're not bone grinder, but you'll probably taste better. Uh, crap. At least the trolls look better. There's four of them. Yay, one down. Come on. Oh, crap. 
hate that. Oops. I do like that you can uh, abort your movements if you've screwed up. Bracers, girdle, flail, staff sling. Let's detect magic. And let's take the girdle. Let us take the iron stone, the bracers, and the flail and the staff sling. The monstrous defeated. This looks like a safe place to rest. Yay!